Well, I think like all of us, you know, we, we've um, reveled in, in what Mo managed to do at the Olympic Games, but um, particularly with him, you know, I've followed him since he was a, a youngster, to be honest, and uh, it's great to have seen him flourish in such a way as an athlete and as a person, and that's what we're here for tonight. It's not just him as an athlete, it's what he wants to give back a little bit as well, so we're all very, very happy to come and support him in that. Well, you know, it was uh, um, something which uh, we've been planning obviously for a long time and um, you know, I've been telling people for a long time it was going to be great, but it was even better than I thought it was going to be and you know, it was very privileged to be sitting commentating on it all in that stadium. The atmosphere was something which I don't think any of us could have really envisaged. We hoped it was going to be good, but it was phenomenal and you know, having British success was a key part of that and there's a lot of investment over the years has gone into our elite programmes, you know, and that's great, but at the end of the day, the athletes have to work really, really hard. You know, and Mo is a great example of somebody for whom it wasn't always easy. He's had the talent and he's had ability, but he's had his knockbacks and he's had his times when he, we thought he was going to win and he didn't win, and he ended up changing his coach and really kind of, excuse me, really kind of getting very focused about what he was trying to achieve. And 2012 helped him kind of crystallise that, and he proved that you know if you stick to your task, then you get the rewards um, which he got. And in front of that home crowd, you know, none of us will ever experience that again. I think it is, you know, sport depends on, on, on role models, it depends on people being successful for others to come and want to emulate them and follow them, you know, and Mo's had his heroes when he was young and you know, we all have gone through that process. Um, to be able to see it up close, to be able to see it not just on TV, but to have been at the venues and so many, you know, millions of people came to watch the Olympics and it's great to see so many people coming to watch the Paralympics, which is practically a sellout as well. And so all that does is kind of, particularly for youngsters, make them realise, hey, you know, maybe one day I could do that. Opens their eyes to maybe sports that they maybe don't see on TV all that much and think, wow, canoeing's cool, you know, basketball or um, you know, equestrian events or you know, swimming pool, etc. So that's what the Olympics has done. It's given a massive opportunity for sport, a great shop window for just a few weeks. But that success has meant that I hope you know hundreds of thousands of other kids will try to emulate that in the future. And it really did bring the nation together. That was the added bonus, wasn't it? You know, so much. Um, uh, okay, you know, sometimes we, we say we're a bit jingoistic at times, but why not? Why not celebrate British success? You know, it was great to see the Union Jack, um, not only around Olympic Park, all around London and around the country as well. And, you know, I obviously work in the media and had lots of foreign media coming up to me during the Games going, well, we thought you Brits were all a bit reserved. You know, it's, it's been great to see everybody getting involved and, and really kind of just enhancing the games. You know, not, not all games don't always, you know, the sport can be good, but the, the spectators don't always get into it in the same way. So I think it really helped the reputation for Great Britain, um, not only in a sporting sense, but just generally around the world. I was a lot jealous I wasn't down there in the arena. As I said, um, if anyone ever tells you that, you know, sitting in the media seats and commentary boxes is the best place, it ain't. Down on the track is the best place to be. Um, I was a good second best, but um, I, I would have much rather have been down there. Thanks very much. Cheers. Thank you.